Hi everyone, it's a new video for preparing for tomorrow, tomorrow's lab. We have to be very effective and in order to do so, I prepared this video um, to tell you more about the four different uh, new techniques that we're going to learn about and also um, just understand the chemistry behind it. So here, here's the thing. Of course, you are, um, you are encouraged to go read the text. The text is six pages long and it's, uh, it's talking about tomorrow, tomorrow's experiment. But in this clip, I'm describing, uh, basically the major steps in this video. I will bring the, the text, the printed version to the lab tomorrow. So here we go. Here's the big picture. In this part of the drawing here, we have three different substances with three different structural formula, of course, and they all have different properties, but still, they still have enough in common to be soluble. So tomorrow we will give you a sample containing these three substances. They form an homogeneous mixture and you will be asked to separate them, basically. So tomorrow in the pink square here, we're going to perform a liquid liquid extraction. I talked to you about that, a precipitation, a recrystallization and a vacuum filtration. And that will allow us to separate the benzoic acid from the mixture and then have uh, toluene and hexane on their own after after tomorrow. And then on week two, on separation two, we're going to perform a fraction distillation to separate toluene and hexane. And on week three, we're going to become expert at characterizing and um, measuring the physical properties of these substances in order to know if we have them and if they are pure. That's it. So here's a liquid liquid extraction, how we perform it. Uh, here, the green dots are uh, our substance that we aim to separate, benzoic acid. Now it is sep it is soluble in the blue layer. The blue layer is basically our hexane and toluene layer. The this is our sample. The green stuff you're seeing, uh, the green stuff, the gray stuff you're seeing at the bottom here is an aqueous layer. And what happens here is that there are two immiscible solvent in this flask here, and they are immiscible because they don't share the same uh, dominant intermolecular, intermolecular molecular interaction. And this is a big topic we're going to cover in class. But we will see that later, of course. They have different densities. So the top layer, because its density is lighter, is lower, then it's floating on top of the one having the highest density, right? What we're going to see is that the solute, the benzoic acid, which is here, will turn to a more, um, a more soluble substance and will change the layer. It will go from the blue layer to the gray layer. And by doing so, the benzoic acid are the green dots. We're going to add sodium carbonate. It's not shown here. And the benzoic acid will turn to fuchsia dots. And we'll see it right now. Okay, now they're turned fuchsia. And doing so, we will alter the solubility of, uh, of benzoic acid. Now it's sodium benzoate, right? So it's going to be more soluble. Whoop, sorry. Whoop. Okay, it's going to be more soluble in the gray layer, as you can see. So now we can recover it by separating with the valve here and coming up with only the aqueous layer. As you can see in our Erlenmeyer flask here, we have sodium benzoate. The goal of this experiment is not to have sodium benzoate only, is to have uh, benzoic acid. They're very much similar, but if we had an acid to this salt, okay, if we had an acid to the salt, it might turn to what we expect. So the solute was pretty soluble in the aqueous layer. And we will add a new chemical agent to transform it. And this chemical agent here is HCl. It's here on top of my arrow. So all of our fuchsia dots will turn to green dots because they've become benzoic acid. So they, they did 
they, they, they did that <laughs> the path and circle they were benzoic acid we turned them to sodium benzoate and then they're benzoic acid again and yeah well i'll explain that in class why the chemical reaction alters the solubility of the solute and then the solute will start to crash into some kind of powder a solid and this solid is basically unpure after that we need to have only um only the solid so we need to purify the solid in some kind of way we need to separate it from its aqueous layer so we're going to perform a vacuum filtration as you can see here the Erlenmeyer flask will be linked to a vacuum pump and this vacuum pump will suck the air and will allow the, the liquid to pass through but our crystals our very tiny crystals our precipitate will stay on the uh, on the glass here on top it's a porous glass so we separate a solid the green dots from a liquid by doing so but still the green dots and the benzoic acid are unpure so what we want to do here let's see a, a recap of this what we want to do is to make these uh this benzoic acid more pure so we have an example here i um i got confused with the color i'm sorry at this point in the video uh, i have to say uh, the fuchsia dots that you can see here are supposed to be green all green okay but i placed uh, blue dots here the blue dots they are impurities and by uh, performing recrystallization we will separate the impurities from the benzoic acid the one we want to recover because we will choose a solvent which is a very bad solvent for our benzoic acid but it turns out that by boiling this solvent benzoic benzoic acid will some kind of get soluble in it but that but at it will cool down you will see benzoic acid trying to accumulate in little chunks and these chunks with a lot of order in them where benzoic acid molecules they, they interact very closely with one another are called crystals and as you can see the impurities are left outside of these crystals and this this um, these big chunks now they are pure benzoic acid and this is beautiful and this is chemistry and you're going to perform that tomorrow chicos so because tomorrow is very important that we are prepared i'm asking you to watch this video of course if you haven't watched it you cannot hear me saying that uh read your text as 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 um as good as you can because you want to know where are the where are the uh, the main um, where are the the main parts in your protocols like the instructions you have to follow you you want to be f f not familiar but you want to to know where to find the information yeah that's it you want to know where to find the info that's why so uh, enjoy your Super Bowl night and um and enjoy reading this i'm sorry it's late i'm sending this this to you uh, very shortly but i'll see you tomorrow we'll have a blast and yeah that's it bye bye